Hello and welcome to Crow Forest, the podcast. So today we will be picking back up with post-production on December 1st of 2022. And that's a pretty short section, so I guess we'll uh, keep going from there. I guess we'll cover December 2nd and uh, probably save uh, the the last couple of sections for uh, next week. So this is December 1st, 2022. Today, I finally got my LLC set up. I've been trying to get it done on my own for a while now without success, looking online to try and figure out how to do it and just getting confused. So I finally just gave up and went to LegalZoom and let them do it for me. In fact, I actually got partway through the application process and got confused again, so I kind of gave up and started working on something else, and they actually called me and asked if I needed help with the application process. So they talked me through the process and got me set up with all the services that I need, so now the paperwork is being processed and soon I'll have an official LLC. After that, with that big item checked off my list, I was finally able to focus on editing together all of the new footage that I got last weekend. Okay, so that's a bit of a cheat since that's the first day of post-production and uh, you may notice that no actual post-production took place in that. But still, uh, setting up my LLC was a... uh, a relevant and important thing to address in this book, and it doesn't really fit neatly into production or post-production, so, uh, well, I just stuck it here, and uh, I guess you can uh, just deal with that. And moving on to December 2 of 2022. Today, I decided to work on the stop-motion globe spinning effect. I opened up the video and scrubbed through it frame by frame, as I had done before with the video of turning the miniature on the table, taking a screenshot at every stop point. Then I imported the frames into Final Cut Pro and created the playable video file. It looked pretty good, but the shadows in the background kept noticeably shifting throughout the video from where I was standing behind the camera in all of the different positions. So I'll have to try and redo this effect at some point. But at least I can see now that the baseline of the effect does work. I just need to step back further from the camera and be in a consistent position so that the shadows aren't noticeably different. Next, I decided to work on the first of the two shots that I needed for the production logo. I want to get an image-locked opening scene to my composer as soon as possible so that he can score it. And in order to do that, I need to have the production logo ready, since I'm using that as the first shot of the movie. And since we just filmed the new videos for it, I'll see if I can make use of any of those. The rough cut that I had been using consists of a still picture of Maureen's house, edited to remove the address, with green screen of me standing in the doorway. It looks pretty good, and it would be perfectly usable, but it is noticeably green screen, and I have to zoom in so far on the still picture that it loses a lot of resolution. So I thought I'd see if I can improve it any. I opened the video files and scrubbed through them to see which one might work best, and I selected the smooth tripod one where Maureen had the stationary camera at the edge of her yard and used the zoom to get a smooth shot. My camera has an optical zoom so you don't lose resolution like you do with a digital zoom. Unfortunately, this video clearly shows Maureen's address, so I would have to do something to get rid of it. So after a few failed attempts to blur it out in the video, I decided to give in and just do what I already knew needed to be done. I exported the video clip of just the little piece of video that I would need, 
no point in doing extra work on this. And then I opened it and started scrubbing through it, taking a screenshot on every single frame. Then I took those frames and opened them in Photoshop, where I proceeded to edit them one by one. I copied a section of brick from the front of the house and dragged it in front of the house number, blocking it out. Then I copied the brick selection into the next frame, and the next one, and the next one. It wasn't difficult, but it was super tedious. Finally, at about midnight, I was finally done with it, and I took the new edited frames and opened them in Final Cut Pro to make the playable video file. I played it back and it looks pretty good. Clearly there is an edit over the bricks, but it's a reasonably good edit, and it's clear why it had to be edited. So I think I can get a pass for that. Plus, it goes by so fast that uh, probably no one would even notice it. Well, so much for that. I'm going to bed now. My brain is fried. All right, and uh, we'll cut it off there and um, finish out the next three sections of December 3, 5, and 9. Uh, those are all pretty short sections, so we will be able to finish those out next week and get back to uh, another production trip. So hope to see you then.